let's take a look at some small, cheap, unusual convertibles you don't see very often that will turn people's heads. First up, the Fiat Barchetta. When was the last time you saw one of these cars? It's a decent MX-5 alternative and I think better looking, but the MX-5 is put together much better. This Fiat has a 1.8 litre, 130 brake horsepower engine. It's back to basics, open top motoring. It's only available in left hand drive, which isn't ideal in the UK, but it's a fun, great looking, quirky little Italian sports car. You can buy a decent Barchetta in good condition for about three to four thousand pounds. The Volkswagen Golf GTI Mark 1 convertible. Older Mark 1 Golf GTIs are fairly expensive, but the convertible Mark 1 GTI or Clipper remain bargains. Both a four-seater car with a 1.8 engine, the GTI and Clipper look fairly similar, but with slight engine, suspension and interior differences, and both have the stylish body kit if you buy the later model. Great retro Mark 1 Golf looks at an affordable price. You can buy a decent Golf Clipper or GTI in a nice condition for five to six thousand pounds. The Smart Brabus Roadster. Smart is from the Daimler Mercedes group, so part of a respectable brand. The Roadster has grown on me over the years and now I think it's a handsome, slightly quirky little car. I like the two-tone bodywork and wide flared arches. It's not that quick with its 700cc, 100 brake horsepower, three-cylinder turbo engine, but it's lightweight, rear-engined and rear-wheel drive and fun to drive. It's available as a convertible or a coupe with an electric roof. The coupe is more practical but the Roadster looks much better. You can buy a nice Brabus Roadster from about £6,000 and prices are slowly rising. The Nissan Figaro, 1950s Roadster looks with the reliability of a 90s Japanese car. It looks very cute, retro and it's a cult classic. There was massive demand when this car was new. It's based on the Nissan Micra. It's a three speed automatic with a one litre, four cylinder turbo, 75 brake horsepower engine. It's not about speed with this car. It's just about the looks and the retro vibe. It's a happy car. It's well equipped. The roof comes down easily and they're still reasonably priced. Figaro's can be bought needing light TLC from £3,000 and six pounds to £8,000 for tidy examples. If you're looking for something a little bit newer, then look at the Daihatsu Copen. Made in the 2000s, the original Copen had a 660cc turbocharged 4-cylinder 67 brake horsepower engine. This later changed to an 86 brake horsepower 1.3 naturally aspirated engine. But the car is pretty lightweight, so it doesn't feel too slow around town. The Copen looks like it's been inspired by an Audi TT or a 1950s Porsche Speedster. It has a folding metal roof, leather interior, air conditioning, and it's now very good value for money if you're in the market for a smaller roadster. You can buy a nice example Copen from between £2,000 and £5,000. And now it's Honda's very tiny Honda Beat, made in the 90s and designed by Pininfarina. A mid-engined rear-wheel drive roadster with a high-revving, naturally aspirated three-cylinder 650cc engine with Honda's multi-point injection system. It's only got 64 brake horsepower, but it's extremely lightweight. It has a manual gearbox and is fun to drive. It has an easy manual roof and the car overall is pretty reliable. You can buy a really nice example Honda Beat in the UK for about five to six thousand pounds. I'd just like to quickly mention the much newer Honda S660 and Copen. The S660 with its 660cc turbo 63 brake horsepower engine is small, lightweight and is a successor to the Beat. It looks absolutely fantastic, gorgeous looking car, not cheap in the UK however for the imports, over £20,000. The much newer Daihatsu Copen looks fantastic, gorgeous looking car, again it's small, lightweight, 660cc turbo 63 brake horsepower engine, not sold in the UK but I'm sure when imports do come up for sale, there will be a premium price, just like the Honda S660. Back to the slightly cheaper cars now with the Suzuki Cappuccino. Made in the 90s, another Japanese K car. Small, lightweight, front wheel drive roadster. 660cc turbo, 63 brake horsepower. It has a clever hardtop roof. It can look like a T-bar, Targa or full-on roadster, which is pretty cool. There's not many in the UK, but available at a good price when they do come up for sale. Some were original UK cars as well, and imports are available. £3,500 will get you a car needing light TLC, £8,000 will get you a mint example. Last is the Ford Streetcar, the cheapest on this list, but not in any way the worse. Designed by Ford and built by Pininfarina, made for two years in the 2000s, it uses a 1.6 litre 94 brake horsepower engine, it's front wheel drive. 
It's a mini two-seater car with a fabric roof. It's very cheap to buy, quite rare and a nice looking little car and great value for money. You can buy a Ford streetcar with decent mileage and in a nice condition for one to two thousand pounds. Thanks for watching. Bye bye.